An object is a technical term in modern philosophy often used in contrast to the term subject. A subject is an observer and an object is a thing observed. For modern philosophers like Descartes, consciousness is a state of cognition that includes the subject—which can never be doubted as only it can be the one who doubts—and some object s that may be considered as not having real or full existence or value independent of the subject who observes it. Metaphysical frameworks also differ in whether they consider objects existing independently of their properties and, if so, in what way. The pragmatist Charles S. Peirce defines the broad notion of an object as anything that we can think or talk about. In a general sense, it is any entity, the pyramids, Alpha Centauri, the number seven, a disbelief in predestination, or the fear of cats. In a strict sense, it refers to any definite being. A related notion is objecthood. Objecthood is the state of being an object. One approach to defining it is in terms of objects' properties and relations. Descriptions of all bodies, minds, and persons must be in terms of their properties and relations. The philosophical question of the nature of objecthood concerns how objects are related to their properties and relations. For example, it seems that the only way to describe an apple is by describing its properties and how it is related to other things. Its properties may include its redness, its size, and its composition, while its relations may include on the table, in the room, and being bigger than other apples. The notion of an object must address two problems, the change problems and the problems of substances. Two leading theories about objecthood are substance theory, wherein substances objects are distinct from their properties, and bundle theory, wherein objects are no more than bundles of their properties. Change An attribute of an object is called a property if it can be experienced e.g. its color, size, weight, smell, taste, and location. Objects manifest themselves through their properties. These manifestations seem to change in a regular and unified way, suggesting that something underlies the properties. The change problem asks what that underlying thing is. According to substance theory, the answer is a substance, that which stands for the change. The problem of substance Because substances are only experienced through their properties a substance itself is never directly experienced. The problem of substance asks on what basis can one conclude the existence of a substance that cannot be seen or scientifically verified. According to bundle theory, the answer is none, thus an object is merely its properties. In the Mulamadamakakarika Nagarjuna seizes the dichotomy between objects as collections of properties or as separate from those properties to demonstrate that both assertions fall apart under analysis. By uncovering this paradox he then provides a solution dependent origination", that lies at the very root of Buddhist praxis. Although Pratityasamutpada is normally limited to caused objects, Nagarjuna extends his argument to objects in general by differentiating two distinct ideas, dependent designation and dependent origination. He proposes that all objects are dependent upon designation, and therefore any discussion regarding the nature of objects can only be made in light of the context. The validity of objects can only be established within those conventions that assert them. Etymology In English the word object is derived from the Latin objectus pp. of obisir with the meaning, to throw, or put before or against, from ob pref, and jacir, to throw. As such it is a root for several important words used to derive meaning, such as objectify to materialize, objective a future reference, and objectivism a philosophical doctrine that knowledge is based on objective reality. Topic reality theory Bertrand Russell updated the classical terminology with one more term, the fact, everything that there is in the world I call a fact, facts, objects, are opposed to beliefs, which are subjective and may be errors on the part of the subject, the knower who is their source and who is certain of himself and little else. All doubt implies the possibility of error and therefore admits the distinction between subjectivity and objectivity. The knower is limited in ability to tell fact from belief, falls from true objects and engages in reality testing, an activity that will result in more or less certainty regarding the reality of the object. 
According to Russell, we need a description of the fact which would make a given belief true where truth is a property of beliefs, knowledge is true beliefs. This framework of presumptions is termed the theory of the real. Until the true false distinction can be made, every object must be viewed as possibly true, a quasi object. This extends even to those objects that are known to be subjective. Individuals may determine to create a logical or rational entity that they treat as if real, a corporation, a fund, a population of elves, etc. These are typically the subjects of cultural anthropology. Topic applications Topic Value theory Value theory concerns the value of objects. When it concerns economic value, it generally deals with physical objects. However, when concerning philosophic or ethic value, an object may be both a physical object and an abstract object e.g. an action. Topic Physics Limiting discussions of objecthood to the realm of physical objects may simplify them. However, defining physical objects in terms of fundamental particles e quarks leaves open the question of what is the nature of a fundamental particle and thus asks what categories of being can be used to explain physical objects. Topic semantics Symbols represent objects, how they do so, the map territory relation, is the basic problem of semantics. Topic see also topic References topic Sources Russell, Bertrand Human knowledge its scope and limits. New York, Simon & Schuster. Taylor, Alfred Edward Elements of Metaphysics. London, Methuen & Co. Topic external links Bradley Redder and Andrew M. Bailey. Object. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Gideon Rosen. Abstract Objects. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Colin Smith. Even more abstract objects. Crazy Objects and Their Affect on Reality.